Clap your hands, all you people. Woo! I feel the joy of the Lord. I feel the joy of the Lord. You know, every time before the challenge and I'm sleeping, when I wake up, your body, you are so tired. I'm like, how am I going to do today? But as soon as I step into this place, you feel a holy renewal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is very special. Let me announce it so that you get prepared. I didn't want to say it publicly because then people will just join for, for that reason and not really to praise God. Today, we are going to deal with marital settlement. Not just marital settlement, we are going to deal with divine connection. The sixth day is the day of man. Say the sixth day is the day of man. On the sixth day, God created what? Man. Amen. And you see, whatever God does, and by man, I don't just mean the male man. Okay? And whatever God does in this life, he does through a man or a woman. Amen. Oh, Lord, give me open doors. Do this. God will use a man. God will use people. So you better like people. Say love people. There's nothing like, no, no, it's, us, it's only God. Oh. It's God, oh, it's God, oh. everybody else. No, no, God will do it through people. Amen. Hallelujah. Saul went looking for what? The asses of his father. And as he went out, he met the man. He met the prophet of God. Who did what? Who spoke into his life and he became king. Amen. David had gone. His, his, his city was... was you know, attacked, plundered, and then he went after his enemies. And somewhere he met a Philistine, amen, who was hungry. They fed the, uh, the man who was instrumental to what his recovery. Hallelujah. I can give you examples upon examples. The man at the pool of Bethesda was there for 38 years because what? He had no man. Some people are struggling because they've not met the right man or woman. He said, I have no man. But that day he met the man. He, he met the man from Galilee. Hey. For he has done so very much. Hey. He has done I've met the man. I've met the man. <laughs> hey. So very much for me. Meeting him, I know the man. I know the man. Woo. Now, man, he be, and now God he be. What did he do? life 
So, before we start, I'm going to give an instruction. You will find, I know that I was going to say this. Of course, we'll still have the, fe the festival where you dress like that miracle. But today, look for something to represent, you know, that man or woman that you need. Some people will meet men or women in business. Will meet men or women in their career. Amen. Tonight we are going to release them. Some people will meet their boas. We are, we are going to pray some interesting prayers. We will meet their Ruth. You see, every night before the challenge, we always take the Holy uh, Communion. And tonight, in addition to remembering the Lord on the Lord's table, we remember that you know, when Jesus was called upon to what the marriage in Galilee, interestingly, I'm singing that song, Man of Galilee. So that's a sign that tonight, you know, he will settle people mightily. You know, and they ran out of wine. He didn't tell them, well, since there is no wine, drink water. He turned that water to wine, sweetness. I want you to desire marriage tonight. Now, there are people who say, eh, if people are praying about marriage, you are not deep. Thank God for them. They are deep Christians. But they are the same people when they are, they are cold. There is a spouse by their side to warm them. They have children coming back to say, Daddy, welcome home. Amen. And they tell you, no, there is no marriage in heaven. Amen. You will get married. Amen. Marriage is a good thing. Say it's a good thing. Oh yes, it's a good thing to me. If if I if I didn't meet my wife, I won't be doing the things I'm doing, because she brought heavy favor. May you meet your spouse. Can I prophesy after this Hallelujah challenge? There will be torrents of kingdom marriages. I use my new my big ring as a sign that God will connect His people. God will connect his people in business, in ministry. God will send a prophet to you. Hey, Father, let it rain kingdom marriages. Let people meet, meet strategic men and women. And tonight there will be healing of marriages. We say no to divorce in this kingdom. Our marriage will hit 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. My father in the Lord, Pastor Deboe, yes, he he's enjoyed over 50 years of marriage and from that lineage. Amen. And I told my wife today, I do, she, was, she was going to dress a certain way. I said, bring your booba today. You join me and we'll release that grace. Amen. Are you ready to praise God? So it's not just marriage. So go and get a token, whether it's a veil, whether it's a ring, whether it's something. Look for it somewhere. Manufacture something. Amen. I'm preparing your heart. And bring your journal. Amen. Bring hanky for the girls. You know, to represent the veil. At some point, you take off your veil. Amen. What you're about to do is very good. <laughs> hey! Let's go. Let's sing that and we give you the glory again. So dance. Dance like you are dancing to your wedding reception. So tonight is to rehearse your, your wedding dance. Not now, not now, not now. Just wait. Cool down, cool down.
of a very big God. He's always by my side. A very big God. I have a very big God. He is standing by my side. Professor with this song. Can I prophesy? <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Hey! Hey! Sisters, can I prophesy? There is a very fine man. He is standing by your side. A very fine man by my side. Professor, I have a very fine man. Sisters, yes. Hope you know there is a place in praise worship where you prophesy. We minister to him, but then you prophesy. Sisters, enter the carpet. Dance, dance, I want to get a scripture. Judges 21 21. Father, as we dance in your presence, we take this as a prophetic sign and as prophecy that in this kingdom your sons and your daughters will be happily married in the next few weeks, in the next few months. Verse 20, therefore they commanded the children of Benjamin saying, go and lie in wait in the vineyards, 21, and see and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in dances, are there daughters of Shiloh here? Then it says, then come ye out of the vineyards and catch you every man his wife, or the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Benjamin. All the brothers form a circle around them. We are prophesying tonight. Single brothers, if you are married, get out of here. <laughs> Say, I have a very fine Father, we release the favor for kingdom marriages. As you showed us in the visions and the dreams dance before the Lord I have a very big God oh. always by my side say I have a very big God oh. brothers enter the cup You have a very big God. Join me. Come and join me. Sing hallelujah. Jehovah. Come and join me. Come and join me. Come and join me. Sing hallelujah.
two minutes. Give him a dance offering.
God another one minute of extra prophetic dance as you dance turn around open your mouth and bless him what we are offering is a sacrifice of praise for the next two minutes give God thanks thank him because he has done it thank you Lord Jesus our kinsman redeemer Kinsman Redeemer. If you can, around the world, if you can, just let's kneel before him. I sense that we need, we need to offer thanksgiving to him. And then we'll say some prayers. This song says, Eshe. I sense a spirit of gratitude arising tonight. Took my 
seen so I can shine All that you need without a price That's why I sing Say, Father, I thank you for sending men and women of destiny into my life this season. Open your mouth and give thanks. Father, thank you for sending men and women of destiny into my life. Father, we release them right now. Men and women of destiny, whether in marriage, whether in ministry, whether in business, by way of staff, destiny help us. Thank you for these men and women. That will cross our path these last three months of the year receive it through thanksgiving open your mouth I hear the word landlord landlord I don't know if it means somebody's looking for accommodation something about that or whether it means that God is making somebody a landlord but I hear it I hear the word landlord while you go about searching for your asses you will meet your prophet Samuel thank you for destiny helpers say father thank you for making me a destiny helper open your mouth and pray that say I am someone's answer to prayer say I am someone's answer to prayer I 
am someone's answer to prayer. God raised a man called Gamaliel to speak for the apostles. Say, Father, raise men and women to speak for me where it matters most. Open your mouth and pray. That prayer fire is weak. You are in the presence of God. Father, raise for us men and women to speak on our behalf where it matters most. Where decisions are made. Where destiny decisions are broken. Raise men and women to speak for me where it matters most. mighty name everyone standing let's let's pray some prayers for our singles and then please remind me that we'll pray for our nation okay we'll pray for our nation today that God will also send us what men and women where it matters most that God will raise for us men and women today is day six and six is the number of man and as I Round up the prayer for the singles. I'm going to ask my wife to come, but not now. And join me. Why is she now shy now? Yeah. Why shall I shy? Amen. Genesis 24, 15. This is for the guys. This the single guys. Amen. Amen. I have prayer for the single girls. Prayer for the single guys. And write this down. You people will pay for these prayer points. I'm giving you a prayer of charge. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Genesis 24, verse 15. If you have the NLT, let's see it. Please be flat. If you know anybody who needs to pray this prayer who is not here, tag them. <coughs> Let's read together. I want to go. Before he had finished praying. Say before he had finished praying. Even before I pray. Jehovah Nisi answered me. So bet you could. He has done it for me. You know all, all, all our songs are scriptures. It must be in the Bible. Before he had finished praying. He saw something. He saw a young woman named Rebecca coming out with her water jug on her shoulder she was the daughter of Bethuel who was the son of Abraham's brother Nahor and his wife Milka to our brothers may you see someone this season lift up your right hand Chike you are not saying amen because you have seen someone already I, I, I know that it works <laughs> Amen. Say, Father, Father this, season, this season, I will see, I will see someone, someone, the one you have made for me. My eyes are open to see that one person this season. It shall happen quickly. Now, let's describe the person in verse 16. Rebecca was very beautiful and old enough to be married. But she was still a virgin. 
she went down to the spring filled her jug and came up again say father i will see someone open your mouth and pray that your eyes are open many times and don't joke with this prayer don't joke i'm not joking say i will see someone okay man stop praying that prayer quick you have seen someone let's pray pray hallelujah father open the eyes of our young men my men here pray for our people say let them see let them see and if they've seen the wrong person lord have mercy let them see the right person lord the way you empowered me to see mine i release that grace right now even while they are online let them see let let that person occur to them afresh the person they've been with for years and just not seen the person let them see in jesus mighty name my pastor gave me a very powerful perspective he said in addition to praying for a young man to see sometimes they've seen but the power to take is not there amen, amen. jobs businesses money you know a man can see but not it, it, a lot of men have faith let's pray that god will empower our men in this season you know because what's happening is women are getting more and more empowered they are schooling more i'm a pastor so i have the data a lot of my girls are going for masters they are having big jobs they are the ones developing themselves sometimes unfortunately the brothers are just praying in tongues so let's balance it out brothers as you pray in tongues develop yourself empower yourself and in this season we i join my faith with you that god will empower you Amen. god will cause you to grow in leaps and bounds Amen. the empowerment you need to take the one you have seen receive it now Amen. say father, father I, receive I receive power, power. I, receive I receive empowerment, empowerment. to take the one I have seen. Open your mouth and pray. Empowerment by way of emotional stability and boldness. Financial em empowerment. Spiritual empowerment comes to our brothers this season. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Write these scriptures down. Pray, pray, pray. The God of all grace shall cause grace to abound to me. Say the God of all grace shall cause grace to abound to me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. To our sisters let's pray. Two prayer points. Songs of Solomon 4.16 You know. You can be around your spouse for a long time and they don't see you. We want to activate something in you. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray this with another. Please don't rush. Don't rush off. We are still going to dance. Please go to the NLT. Okay, just stay there. Stay here. Want to go. Awake, O north wind, O come and come down, blow upon my garden that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved do what come into his garden and eat his pleasant fruit. Amen. Amen. That your hidden beauty ceases to be hidden beauty. Amen. We're, we're going to ask that north wind is the Holy Spirit, that breath of God to blow upon you. All of a sudden, when you go to church, those brothers who have just been passing by you say, Hello, I, 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 did you just join this church? You say, When did I just join? Or when did your eyes just open? It's not, I, I didn't just join, your eyes just open. Amen. 
and my fragrance just went forth. Amen. And that fragrance is favor. Genesis 29, 17. Genesis 29, 17. I am very passionate about kingdom marriages and I am unapologetic. If you like, say I'm not deep. Say I'm not, but Jesus Christ is the bridegroom and the church is the bride. Marriage is a, is a prophetic token to represent Christ and the church. All of these things will end in what? The marriage supper what? So it's a, it's a picture of Christ and the church. And we have to show this world. Amen. One to go. Leah was tender-eyed, but Rachel was beautiful and well-favored. That's why Jacob went for what? Rachel, because of that favor. Say, Holy Spirit, blow upon me and release my fragrance in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. You are not praying. Let it cease to just be hidden beauty. Let your favor come upon me. Release that fragrance, that hidden beauty, that grace that I carry in this season. Make it obvious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Place your veil upon your head. Place your veil like, like a sign. And then just lift it as you pray. Say, release it. Blow upon me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father. Father. Lord, let your breath come upon our girls. Let that wind, that north wind, blow upon our garden. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. R Ruth 3. And we're going to ask that this will be a quick walk. I'm not, I'm not waiting for um, two years down the line. We don't have time. Say no time. There's kingdom work to be done. Ruth 3. Verse 18. And when the eyes of the brothers are open and they've been empowered, when your fragrance has gone forth, when that favor has come upon you and they meet, let it happen quickly. Amen. Say quickly. quickly. Say nzobu nzobu. <laughs> I see the heart. So get ready for some Zobu Zobu wedding preparation. In the name of Jesus. Babe, come, let's pray. Let's pray. Let me celebrate my wife. <laughs> the, 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 the woman who was. I went to minister in Eket Aquabum said they sent her to be protocol for the woman of God and myself. She left the job she was supposed to do. And she was looking at this man of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Love is sweet. Marriage is sweet. In this kingdom, we'll not, it's not that we don't have our challenges. Sometimes you see us argue. Sometimes, ah, oh, this woman, no, they, no, they, this. But when we are done, I'll just look at him like, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Lekuma, <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Somebody said there is joy in the presence of the Lord. Hey. Let's read NLT. Ruth 3, 18. Ruth 3. Want to go? Then Naomi said to her, Just be patient, my daughter, until we will hear what happens. The man won't rest until he has settled things today. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Kingdom marriages. Happen quickly. Quickly, quickly. Open your mouth and pray. Let the empowerment happen quickly. Let our eyes open quickly. Let, let's, let's take steps quickly. In the name of Jesus, I agree with the wife of my youth. We agree for jobs, for a young men, for financial empowerment. For quick revelation. When they pray, they will hear quickly. They won't pray for years. 
Don't pray for months. Let it happen quickly. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. Just go ahead and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, oh God. The Bible says that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by God. So just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for ordering our steps to the right place. Thank you. Thank you, oh God, for bringing the right one to our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We come with thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, O oh God, for this wonderful work that you've begun. Thank you, O oh God, for unveiling. Thank you, O oh God. We give you all the praise. Quickly, I'd like us to just read one scripture. Um, Ruth 1.16. So it was kind of like a prayer from Ruth, you know, saying to um, Naomi, NLT. Let's read together. But Ruth replied, Don't ask me to leave you and turn back. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you leave, I will leave. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. This just goes to show commitment. You know, these days we have people who are not committed. Even when they see, you know, the right person, they are not just ready to be committed to someone right so we're going to pray that prayer that the lord god almighty in this day and time will give us the grace to be to be committed to the people that he has placed in our lives in the name of jesus even the married ones that god will give us the grace to be committed in the name of jesus to the people that he has placed in our lives that will not be tossed to and fro in the name of jesus that will be committed to the ones that god has kept for us in the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you all the praise, we give you all the thanks. Rake up hand on Zuvai Lada Bros Shada de Kapaya. Entai la kupa in the bow suta lembra da rosi anamahando sha. E kapando si fai la koto sunta libra da coach. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, for we've been found. Thank you, O oh God, for we've been found. Thank you, O oh God, for we've been found. We give you all the praise, O oh God. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that like we've prayed, it would happen quickly and suddenly. In the name of Jesus, it would happen quickly and suddenly. And everything that we need, everything that we need, you will provide. And we give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I hear the cry of single parents, you know, divorces and... You know, people who've lost their spouses saying, what about us? God will visit you. Amen. God will visit you. Amen. God will turn your mess into a message. Amen. God will turn that test into a testimony. Amen. Any marriage on the brink of failure will say, receive life. Amen. Let that wine be replaced. Amen. Let that wine be refilled. Amen. Let it overflow. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Quickly, let's put your hands together. And I want to be able to, you know, minister in a few of this kingdom. I normally don't do weddings because of my commitment. But if, you, if God gives you a, 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 a marriage from this, you know, service we've had, and it gives me time and opportunity, I would like to be there to blow the trumpet. And come to sing, see what the Lord has done. So let me know, let me know. Amen. Let's pray for our nation. That scripture we always pray, you know, men with upright heart and skillful hands, get it for me. I think it's Psalm 70 something. Quickly. There will be a, a, some days here, we'll, the focus will be on our nation. Amen. Today was for, for destiny and connections. Amen. Divine connection. Say, Father. We pray for divine connections. We receive favor for divine connections. Amen. He cared 
Psalm 78, 72. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart and guided them with, by the skillfulness of his hands. Say, Father, Father, in our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the earth, raise for us men with heart of integrity and men with skillful hands. Open your mouth and pray. Pray fervently in Nigeria, raise men in governance and leadership with upright hearts and with skillful hands. Upright hearts, skillful hands, upright hearts, skillful hands, upright hearts, skillful hands, upright hearts, skillful hands, upright hearts, skillful hands. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, we receive men in governance and leadership. Men and women with upright hearts and skillful hearts and skillful hands. In Jesus' name. You know, as I said that prayer, I saw like in a vision, you know, a guy and a girl. You know, it's like the guy in this time of prayer an old classmate, maybe in the university or so, just came up in your heart. This is a confirmation for you. You just saw someone. You just saw someone. An old classmate, an old colleague in school that just came up in your heart. That's your confirmation. That's your confirmation. Pray more about it and you will see God will confirm that. Amen. Amen. Now, some people need to meet the man. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, the Bible says that he must need to go through what? Samaria. Because there was a woman who had what? Five husbands. And the sixth one, you see, sixth, was not that person. But he met the real man. Same number six. Now, we've prayed about, you know, your spouse here. But if you don't meet this man, the other man you meet or woman will be useless. Amen. This is the ultimate man. The ultimate man. His name is Jesus. If you are not born again, you've enjoyed hallelujah challenge. You prayed the prayers which may not really be a waste until you add this bit. All you need to do is open your heart and let this man, this lover come in. Your kinsman redeemer. Let him change your life. He came into my heart. And that's why we have Hallelujah Challenge today. And you are blessed. All you need to do is just believe him. And confess that he came and died and rose again. You will be saved. You get married. There's an old song. I'm married to Jesus. Leave me alone. I'm married. Satan, leave me alone. My husband is coming. To take me to heaven, to everlasting. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for coming for me. I acknowledge I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. Wash me in your blood. Break the power of sin. Come into my heart. Take charge. I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. As my Savior and my Lord. I am born again. My sins are forgiven and I am brand new in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I declare everyone who has said this prayer saved to the uttermost. Their sins are forgiven. The yoke of sin over them is broken. The seed of righteousness begins to grow unto eternal life, unto eternity. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Congratulations, my dear brother and sister. I am so excited. Every time I lead people to Christ, I'm so excited. And I've heard testimonies of people who got born again on Hallelujah Challenge and are still, you know, saved and serving the Lord. You are one of them. Please help feel 
the form when you click the link hallelujahchallengelive.com slash new, new converts or scan the barcode you know fill that form is so important because we will you know contact you we'll connect with you send you free bibles um, well, one bible for one person um, um, a book or a pamphlet to help you know make sense of what you've done today and then we'll hold some zoom classes to empower you to make you strong in your faith god bless you amen next if you want to partner with us to give and sow to this ground i do that personally every day i won't tell you what i do because i was led to make a sacrifice every day now this platform is of god you've heard the testimony you know and then on the 22nd we have this huge festival it's like a feast you know our own feast of in gathering all right a co-hotel and suites the whole convention center you know with victoria renze um Ntokozo, Dulce, and we have people flying in. I hear Prophet Tiffany Montgomery is going to come. So we'll get her to also speak. She's coming. She's our good friend. Okay. And people are going to come. My pastor, Pastor Ben, is going to be there. You know, so there's, it's going to be a, a, a festival for our God and to our God. So it's costing us so much. Partner with us. You know, bless the team. You know, and God would also bless you because you are sowing on good ground there's integrity here you know you know i fear god so i don't i don't touch god's money anyhow all right so you you can be rest assured that your money is well managed amen we've danced already i'm not going to ask us to dance over our journal again we've danced amen we have danced already you can just you know speak over your journal we're just going to blow over this this service we want to thank our partners simon coopers show gear ifix carol films premium trust bank and bentley what's bentley's business again evently e e they've helped us with designing this place so go to the website look at their businesses and patronize them you know they've really been a blessing to us all right amen father we seal these declarations and we declare a harvest of kingdom marriages a harvest of destiny connections divine connections from tonight let the phones ring let the emails come let people cross parts of people on the planes in buses in trains in churches let there be an outbreak literally an outbreak of divine connections let eyes be opened let the fragrance be released. Let the jobs come. Let the weddings happen. Let the marriages happen. And let Jesus be glorified. spirit i had in my spirit for those of you who can wait for the overflow still put your 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 journal down even before i pray jehovah did see answer me dance over it dance over it prophetic action even before i asked jehovah Jireh answer me Taking away my fears, give up the peace of my Lord. See the way He answered me.
festival don't miss today 10 10 you are trusting god for a baby or for fruitfulness of any kind you want to birth something tonight is the night it's a strongly prophetic night god bless you team let's pray lift your hands let's go off